Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're having a great day today. In this video, we're checking out five famous amps found on the Spark. So we've got it all hooked up, ready to go. Let's jump in and check them out. Right, so as you guys may know, the Spark pretty much has unlimited guitar tones. But what we want to do today is pick five of my favorite iconic amp tones and see how the Spark deals with that. So let's plug it in and take it for a spin. So today I'm going to plug the Spark straight into the computer via the USB output. Now that's not a feature I tried during my first initial demo, so fingers crossed, hopefully that works. If it does, that's a hugely convenient feature to have an audio interface built straight into your practice amp. So anyway, that's what you guys are going to hear. Let's check out the guitar. The guitar I'm using in today's video is this Schecter Nick Johnston signature model HSS in this wonderful Daphne blue. Famous amp number one has to be the AC Boost. Nothing gives a clean and pristine tone quite like a Vox, so let's check out what it sounds like. Every note just clean and legible if I do like a big extended chord here. Let's check that out. You know, every string and every range just sounds so, so beautiful. So if you guys want to kind of copy the setting if you want, uh, I've got the stock gate on, the stock compressor, and I put this verb on right here. And other than that, there's my amp settings. And the cool thing about, you know, all these amps is if we take our volume down here, take the old gain up to maybe like three quarters ish somewhere in there go to our bridge pickup and we all know what a vox can do So, you know, it can get like really gritty and stuff. So that's why this is one of my favorite amps on the Spark. Famous amp number two and our second clean amp has got to be a fender. As you guys can see, the gain is low, bass mids are cut, treble is boosted and the volume is cranked. And of course that gives you just that perfect clean fender tone. <laughs> now when you, you know, lighten your picking up, it gets totally clean. And when you dig in, it saturates, sounds really, really good. And when we go to like position four or something like that, just sounds absolutely lovely. Yes, famous amp number three and our first amp featuring some serious gain is the British 30. Nothing else quite sounds like an orange with its aggressive, aggressive uh, attack. <laughs> So 
much fun to play and absolutely my, fam my favorite amp for riffing. Uh, this one you definitely don't want to miss out. Now on my settings here, we've got the gain uh, just shy of uh, kind of like three quarters. Uh, bass is up, mids are just slightly cut and a good amount of treble. Now you may notice like on all my patches, I have a fair amount of, of treble and that's because the spark, even though it's small, is just like a big full sound. So on lots of patches, I'll either cut the bass or add some treble and this one is no, no exception and it just sounds absolutely wonderful. <laughs> Famous amp number four has got to be the plexiglass. This is our Marshall. And just like my other patches, I still have the stock noise gate and the stock compressor. And on this patch, I do have some delay and a little bit of verb. And here's my amp settings. Now this sounds totally different than the orange. A much more kind of spongy kind of sound. If I take that delay off for a second here and we just play some rhythm. You know, such a different attack than that orange. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that delay back on because I use this patch pretty much for like, you know, lead tones. just enough gain to kind of like allow me to do those little tapped harmonics and stuff. Um, so I love this patch. It's really, really warm, even though I've got, as you guys can see, a ton of the bass dialed out, but the mids um, and the treble up and I'm in my bridge pickup, but it just gives you a very kind of singing uh, lead tone. Absolutely love it. <laughs> Famous amp number five is the tread plate. Now, honestly, there's so many awesome high gain amps on the Spark, and once you connect it to the internet, it's pretty much unlimited, but there's a lot, you know, that are just built in that sound amazing. But I've been playing, you know, on boogies for like 20 years, so I had to include it here, and it sounds fantastic. <laughs> Just a great tone, and if you wanted to, you know, take some of those bass frequencies out if you're playing with like a bass player and, and drums. So, I mean, just re-EQing stuff is super easy, but for playing by myself here, I do like a little bit more bass. So I know a bunch of you guys have ordered and received your spark. So hopefully this video helps you, you know, dial in some amp tones that you're looking for. And I gotta say the recording direct was super seamless. As I mentioned, powered up the spark, hooked up the USB into the computer, downloaded the driver, you know, launched my recording software and off to the races I went. So, you know, for someone who needs to record like quick and dirty guitar tracks and you don't have an audio interface, super awesome feature that worked really, really well. So happy to say that worked awesome. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video and the tones. We'll see you next time with a new video.